Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all having a lovely day so far. So as you've guessed by the title, I am doing a misguided haul today and I cannot wait to show you everything that I picked up in the background. By the way, what do you guys think of this little setup? I feel like I'm really mixing up in these haul videos and trying to work out what works best. But I'm really liking this rail. I feel like I feel a lot more organised and prepared with everything in front of me. So this video is really kindly sponsored by Misguided. But as always, I'm going to be completely honest with my thoughts and opinions on each piece of clothing. Okay, so here we have some dresses. And then we've got some jumpsuits, some basic tees, some pretty tees, some sweatshirts and some jackets and blazers. So what I'm going to do is start off with what I'm wearing and then go on to dresses and move my way along the rail. And I also just really want to point out, have you guys noticed that there's colour in here? Everyone always says that I never wear colour, which is true. So I've really made a conscious effort to incorporate a little bit of colour into today's haul. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. There is a good variety of basics, pretty summer dresses, everyday wear, casual wear. So yeah, there's a good mix and I cannot wait to show you guys. Okay, so first up we have this white tea and it is that boyfriend really oversized kind of tea which I just absolutely love. I just feel like they look so easy and relaxed while having that kind of classy element to it and I don't know why but yeah I do always just think they look very chic. I already have a couple in black but I didn't have any in white so I thought I'd pick up the white and try out misguided tees because I don't think I've ever tried out like their basics before. So as you can see, it's got these really lovely oversized long sleeves which go slightly past the elbow. A nice round neck and I've just tucked it into my belt but if it's untucked, it probably comes. There we go, yeah, it's just a really nice length. It's slightly past the bum and it's not too long. I hate it when they're too long and it just completely drowns you. I actually often end up cutting mine because they have to have that perfect length otherwise they just do look like you're wearing a dad's top. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really liking this one and I actually want to pick it up in black now. I am incredibly fussy when it comes to white tees because I think it's very easy for them to look really cheap, especially if like they're see-through or if you can see like the threads in the fabric, if that makes sense. And this one is actually quite thick, which I absolutely love. It makes it look a lot more expensive. It makes it hang really nicely and also it is just a really comfortable material on the skin, which I really rate. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with this. I'm definitely going to be picking up in some more colours as well. And I picked this up in a size 4 because on the website it already said it was oversized so I just stuck to my normal size and it fits like a dream. Okay so now into the dresses and first up we have this black one and before I show you the whole thing I want to say that I love it but I just don't think it's the right size. <laughs> I feel like I look really silly in it because it's just so long for me. If it was like here I think that would look really nice but yeah like I said before I am petite I'm five foot four so it's just not quite the right length and I just feel like I look like a baby doll I don't know <laughs> so yeah I might actually get this tailored because I really like everything else about it and I particularly like the material of it it's quite light and crisp but yeah I definitely think if you are small then either go down a size or just consider you might have to get it like tailored in yeah other than that I do really like it I think it's very pretty it's very on trend at the moment whilst still just being a classic black dress and I think it looks really cool with trainers like this with my trainers and my Chanel bag I think would look really nice okay next up we have this leopard print dress and I'm loving it so it's a lovely kind of orangey burnt rust colour with this leopard print. I love the sleeves, they're super puffy. And then a V neckline and buttons going all the way down. It really comes in at the hips, so I think it's very flattering because it brings you in here and then it kind of goes out like a skater style dress. And I've just paired this with some sock boots and I think this would make a really lovely workwear outfit, especially in the autumn with the lovely brown colours. You could easily wear this with tights and boots or if you want a bit more of a casual look then just dressing it with some trainers. But I do think this is more of a smart dress just because of like the tailoring. It is nice and fitted and it's got some really beautiful details, so it's less of a casual dress in my opinion. Okay, I am actually obsessed with this dress. I love it. I think this is very me and I feel very comfortable in it. So we have this gorgeous Dalmatian print dress and it's kind of like calf length and it's got these two splits up the middle and I don't know if you're going to be able to see that one on camera but it's kind of got this detailing here just underneath the boobs and then it pleats in the middle which I just think is a really beautiful detail. I also love the sleeves. They're that kind of like bell sleeve style and I love the shape of it. Again it kind of like draws in to the waist 
and then it just flows out so it looks very elegant and feminine i just realized that the zip up at the back was completely undone just to show you guys the back it's kind of like a keyhole effect which i think is very pretty and yeah i've just started this up with some trainers for an everyday casual look but you could also wear this with some like black sandals or some little kitten heels to dress it up a little bit more the fabric is slightly silky so i think it could easily be dressed up or down because it just has that versatile feel to it and i'm really really hoping for you guys that it's going to still be in stock when i upload this because i have a feeling it's going to go very quick okay so now for a little bit of color which makes a huge change i don't think i can remember the last time i showed you guys color on my channel or at least like a bright primary color anyway and for a girl who doesn't really like wearing color i am actually loving this so we have this gorgeous little skater dress it has these really pretty floral patterns on it and then some buttons going down the middle and a little tie waist. It does also have a hidden zip as well, so it's really easy to get into. Um, again, similar to the last two dresses, it has a really nice fit to it. Super comfortable whilst coming in at the waist and really accentuating those curves or no curves if you're like me it is also a really good length for me like i always say the dresses normally come just slightly too far down um but for me this is perfect but just do bear in mind that if you are taller then you might want to size up a little bit just in case um but yeah i just think this dress is a really really pretty and girly summer dress i love it paired with my trainers but i think this would actually look really cute with some like white barely their heels if we're going to like the races or something like that the material also feels really lovely it's just a really nice like lightweight cotton material i really like the way it hangs it's quite like flowy and i want to say gentle but that doesn't really make sense i guess it's just not a really stiff material so it's perfect for the summer and i picked this up in my normal size which is a size six okay so another little pop of color this time it's this kind of like a dark sage on this really pretty ruffly wrap dress so just to show you the pattern up close it's like it's kind of an like abstract dotty effect and then it basically just wraps around and you tie it and it's got these really pretty frills at the bottom so this was actually slightly too long for me so what i've done is i've just kind of gathered it up around the middle so it's a little bit shorter just to show you at full length this is what it is i mean it's not long on me but i just feel more comfortable and I just feel like it suits me better when dresses are a little bit shorter. So that's why I like to tuck up slightly. But yeah, as you guys can probably tell, I am getting really into my little summer dresses. And I'm really loving it at the moment. I just find them so comfortable and so easy to wear. And it's just nice not having to think about the whole outfit. Because you can just put on one dress and some shoes and then you're done. I think this dress would look really pretty at like a picnic in the park or a barbecue. Maybe like brunch with the girls. The restaurants are opening. Um... They would have opened yesterday, I think, when you're watching this. So yeah, let me know if you guys have got any plans to like go out and um, do anything. But yeah, this is the kind of outfit that I'd go to wear like if I'm meeting the girls or something like that. Okay, so I feel very angelical in this next dress. And I'm not sure about it. I don't know if it suits me or not. I'm just trying to work out at the moment. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. So it's this kind of like, is this a sh chiffon i feel like this might be called chiffon i could be completely wrong the sleeves are all floaty and they're slightly see-through and then the main body is double lined so it's not at all see-through you can't see anything it's got this deep v-neck and then like these gathered ruffles going down i do think it's really pretty i don't know why but i think it's just on me i'm not sure if it looks nice or not i think it's a very elegant dress and i just feel like this is the kind of dress that like a woman would wear who has their life together and they just like stroll around like their mansion all day i don't know why but it's giving me those kind of vibes and yeah i picked this up in size six again do you know what? i'm gonna go and ask b what she thinks about it because she always gives me a good honest opinion okay so b said to pair up some boots and now i've done that it gives a completely different vibe so now it's giving me like coachella festival vibes and i'm really feeling it yeah i think this would look really cool at a festival it's very like boho chic and yeah i love it i know none of us are really going to any festivals at the moment but if you want to go for that look, then this is a good one. So next up, we have this very pretty floral summery dress. And it's just giving me absolute summer vibes. So it's a deep plunge neckline with balloon sleeves, a ruched center, and like a tiered ruffle skirt. And I've actually never owned a dress like this before. It feels like there's a lot going on, but at the same time, I actually really like it. I think it is very pretty. Here is a close up of the print. It's these gorgeous like yellow flowers with, with little bits of green. And I've actually paired this with a different pair of trainers. These trainers are misguided. And then they have a little pop of green at the back. So I just thought that this would be perfect 
to pair together. As you can see, these trainers are incredibly wide. Oh my God. I'm not used to my trainers being this white. All my trainers are like so worn and grubby. But yeah, it feels really good to have a fresh pair. I also really like the shape of these and they feel very comfortable as well. So um, yeah, if you're looking for like a good dupe, I think these are great. And I can't remember the last time I wore something with yellow in. Um, just because I didn't think yellow really suited me, but I actually really like this. I think it's nice. And like all of the other dresses, I picked this up in a size 6. So I just realised I probably should have given this a steam. Anyway, next up is this sage, like, silky mini dress. And to be honest, it really doesn't fit me. It's just way too big. And yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of room. So maybe I should have gone for the 4, I'm not sure. And it's such a shame because I actually think this is such a lovely dress. Um, it's also slightly too long, so... Yeah, just doesn't fit me, but on the model it looked absolutely gorgeous. I think it's a lovely colour, and I love all of the detailing around the bust here. I think that's really pretty. And it's the kind of dress as well that you could either dress up or down with trainers or heels. And yeah, I'm really sad that it doesn't fit me, because I really loved this one. Okay, so we are on to the last dress. And again, this one actually doesn't fit me. So what I've done is I've paired it with a belt. And I think with the belt, it works. Um, okay, so this is what it looks like without the belt. And as you can see, it is just a little bit long. And when things are long on me, it just drowns me and makes me look even shorter than I already am. I just feel like if this was maybe here, that would just look so much better. Other than the length of it, I do really like it. It's a really nice like jersey cotton material. Nice and stretchy, nice and comfortable. I also like the three quarter length sleeves. I think that's a nice touch. And yeah, it's just like a basic casual throw on dress. You can just throw on with trainers and look quite cool and casual whilst still feeling nice and comfortable. Next up, we have this amazing denim jumpsuit and I'm just obsessed with it. I think it's so cool and so expensive looking as well for the price. So it has these really nice silver details, buttons going down, a tie waist, and then the color is like this sandy beige which i really like as well oh i also love the big pockets i think that's so handy so i just rolled them up slightly at the ankle just because i prefer it that way and i've just um rolled up the sleeves as well because it's quite warm today so i picked this up in a size four and i definitely think i could have sized up are we in focus a little bit just to give myself um, more room but I'm um, saying that before it's fine I still feel comfortable in it and one thing I actually really like about this jumpsuit is although it's denim it's not like a thick and heavy like rigid denim that is my worst thing I hate denim that is really uncomfortable and you can't walk in this has a lot of movement to it so it's really nice and comfortable and yeah I think this is definitely another one of my faves in the hall I absolutely love it and I just think it looks so cool it's just such a simple and bold outfit okay so now moving on to some more basic wardrobe staples so first of all we have this off shoulder tank top and on the website I wasn't 100% sure about it because you can't really tell how it's going to fit because at the time there wasn't a model wearing it but now it's arrived I really like it I love the way it fits I think it's really flattering and also I like the way that it comes sorry I know you can see my bra but um, I really like the way it comes down low I think it's just a nice feature and it just looks a little bit more dressy I guess rather than just a plain tee and it's made out of this really nice like lightweight kind of very stretchy jersey material which I really like wearing in t-shirts I think it especially works well with black t-shirts okay and then for the jeans so I took these out of the um, parcel and I was like nope these are way too big but I've given them a little bit of a tweak and I think they really work now and I'm actually really liking them on the website they are described as mum jeans but to me, I think these are more like a straight leg jean and they come all the way down to the floor of me. So that's why I have just rolled them up slightly. But I think with this whole look, it actually really works. And yeah, as you guys know, I love my mum jeans. Um, but I didn't have any in like a kind of dark blue colour, which is why I picked them up. And yeah, I've never tried misguided jeans either, and I am impressed. They have a lot of movement to them, they're not stiff. They do feel quite thin, but for me, that's not really an issue. I do quite like my jeans to be a bit more on the thin side. All of the pockets are real. There's nothing I hate more than fake pockets on jeans. So yeah, very happy with that. And yeah, overall, I really like this outfit. I picked up both the jeans and the top in a size six. Next up, I picked up this lovely little basic. So this is actually a bodysuit. It looks like a cardigan, but it's not, it's a bodysuit. And it is a ribbed material with buttons going all the way down. And I actually really like the way that, you can obviously button it all the way up like this, 
but I quite like this little bit hanging down. I don't know if I'm just being weird, but um, I do like that for some reason. It's got a really nice long sleeve. I know I mentioned in my last haul that having slightly oversized sleeves makes me happy. And yeah, I just think it's a really nice, easy, basic. I also think this would really work as loungewear. I'd wear this with just some black joggers around the house and it's just super cozy and nice. It's a really nice, soft material as well. And yeah, I picked this one up in a size six. Okay, this next top, I definitely think is more of a loungewear top. Um, I wouldn't normally style this with jeans just because, I don't know, it gives me more comfortable vibes rather than everyday vibes. But yeah, it's just a really simple white basic. It has buttons going all the way down again and it's a cropped fit. So it comes just above my belly button and it's a really lovely soft material. So perfect for lounging in. And yeah, I just think this would look really good with a pair of like oversized gray jogging bottoms. But yeah, it definitely doesn't work with this outfit for me anyway. And again, this is a size six. Next up, we have this very pretty Dalmatian style top and it looks absolutely gorgeous. I really love the ruffled sleeves and they kind of like stop here and then come in. And then it's the square neckline, very cropped, and then sort of all of this gathering and ruching along the bust. And this is your perfect like jeans and a nice top kind of top. Only thing is I just don't have the boobs to wear this. There is slightly too much material here. So I just think if I was to wear this out, I would even have to tip tape it down. That could work actually. I feel like you need boobs that are gonna fill out this space and then that would work fine. But if not, um, you might have to tip tape. But yeah, I think this is a really pretty top. Let me show you up close. So as you can see, it kind of just gapes a little bit here. But yeah, other than that, I do really like it and it would suit somebody with bigger boobs a lot more than it does me. Okay, next up we have this really pretty little cami top. And I just think it's really dainty and just perfect for the summer if you want to wear jeans and a nice top. So it's made out of kind of like a cheesecloth material, which is very soft. And then you've got like this band around the middle with all of this ruching and gathering, which I really like. The straps are also adjustable, which is great because it means you can adjust it perfectly to your size. But yeah, I'm really happy with this one because I'm always looking for little like dainty tops like this just to put on on a um, really hot day. Okay, so next up we have this really chilled, relaxed, um, casual vibe as a kind of outfit. So I'll start off with the jumper. So these like oversized crew neck sweaters are just one of my favorite things to wear, especially like at home when I'm just working and I wanna be comfortable. Yeah, I just think they're really cool and comfortable, obviously. So this one says Michigan, Mm, a Michigan Midwestern USA. Uh, never been to the USA, but really would love to go one day. And I can't remember if I sized up in this or not. Let me have a look. Yeah, I did. I got a size medium in this because um, I just like these to be really big and comfortable. And then these shorts are their mum shorts. And I actually love the way these fit. They're very loose and oversized and they're quite like boxy as well, which I just really like. I think it makes them look a lot more premium and expensive as opposed to like more fitted shorts. And these two things together are giving me like boathouse vibes, like the kind of thing I'd wear if I had a boathouse in Michigan. You know what I mean? Um, it's quite like American and casual, but um, I'm really feeling it. But yeah, this is the kind of outfit I would wear at home, just chilling. Okay, so next up we have another really cozy oversized jumper. Yeah, so I picked this one up because I loved the color of it. It's kind of like this deep turquoisey, almost sagey color. And then it just has misguided written across the front. And it was just giving me like retro vibes and I really liked it. I thought this would be perfect again, just from working from home or like running errands kind of day. So I've just paired this with my black jeans for now. And again, I picked this up in a size medium. And yeah, I just love these. It really reminds me of the, like, the jumpers that I used to steal off my brother, which I can't do anymore. So I think it's perfect, it's lovely. Okay, next up we have a leather jacket and this is part of their premium range. And I'm obsessed with it. I absolutely love the way it fits. It's very like boxy and slightly oversized. Another feature that I love is the fact that this um, like belt part is actually attached because I always take this part off because usually it will just fall out and I'll lose it. So I love the fact that it's attached. Then it's got all of these kind of like little zips and detailing. It is double lined so it has a nice like silky inside. And it's also just such a soft leather. It's really, really nice. Definitely feels very premium. And I wish I actually tried this on with one of these summer dresses from earlier because I think like pretty floral summer dresses with quite like um, oversized leather looks really, really nice. But yeah, I've been looking for like a boxy um, leather jacket and this is perfect. So I'm very happy with this. I picked this up in a size eight, which is one size up from my normal size and yeah, fits perfectly. Okay, so this final outfit, I've really struggled to style, but I think 
I forgot they're in the end. So this blazer is this gorgeous like minty kind of sage colour again. Keep on saying sage. I'm just loving it at the moment. And it's very like lightweight summer blazer. It is double lined but it's just quite thin so it's definitely not like your winter blazer. This is more of like a going out sort of blazer or a blazer that you'd wear over a dress. And yeah I could not style it because I'm, I don't know I'm just not really used to wearing this colour over clothes. So in the end I just went for a plain white bodysuit and the mom shorts that I showed you guys earlier. And I think this works really nicely. It's kind of giving me like Wimbledon vibes, going to see the tennis. This with a pair of little white strappy sandals I think would look really lovely. So just to show you the blazer um, in a bit more detail. There's these really pretty buttons. Panelling going down and some pockets which are real. And then a nice big collar. So it is very long but I did size up two sizes this is a size 10 and actually i don't think you would need to do that with this blazer i think you could probably stay true to size and it would still have that nice boxy oversized feel but yeah i definitely think this does look a little bit big on me and will look a lot better in my actual size yeah i really like this outfit i think it's very summery and something a little bit different as well to what i normally would wear anyway this is the last thing that i had to show you guys so i'm going to end this video here i really hope you enjoyed it and please do let me know your favorite pieces or if you bought anything because i'm always really interested to know what you guys like i definitely think i pushed myself out of my comfort zone a little bit with this haul and i found some pieces that i actually really like that normally i wouldn't expect myself to like so i'm pleased about that and again a massive thank you to misguided for sponsoring this video and gifting me these clothes. I love you all so, so much. Have a lovely rest of the day and I will see you next time. Bye. Mwah.